At Cabalo Lake, fishing for catfish was good when using carp cut bait. At Eagle Nest Lake, fishing for trout was good when using brown pistol peat spinner flies, salmon peach power bait, sherbet power bait, and nightcrawler worms. Fishing for perch was fair when using worms. At Eagle Rock Lake, fishing for trout was good when using white MEPS spinners, salmon eggs, worms, and power bait. At Elephant Butte Lake, fishing for smallmouth bass was fair to good when using crankbaits and bullhead minnows. Fishing for white bass was fair when using white crankbaits. Fishing for walleye was fair to good when using jigs with paddle tail swim bait and trolling using dark green lures. Fishing for catfish was good when using minnows and fresh cut bait. At Grindstone Reservoir, fishing for trout was fair to good when using pink power bait eggs and garlic power bait. At Lake Van, fishing for catfish was fair to good when using chicken liver flavored magic bait. The Los Ojos Hatchery at Grindstone Reservoir and Rio Dosa River were each stocked with rainbow trout. And our catch of the week is, drum roll please, Elena Sanchez, age 12, and Adrian Sanchez, age 11, of Tome, caught a 14-inch perch, a 19-inch rainbow trout, and a 25-inch rainbow trout using worms at Eagle Nest Lake. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another fishing and stocking report update. For Crazy Radio, I'm Sarah Morrow.